Welcome to your Around the Peninsula. I'm Sergeant First Class Wynn Hoke. Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis took his first visit to Korea. Senior Airman Emily Koontz reports from Osan Air Base. Secretary of Defense, retired United States Marine Corps General Jim Mattis arrived on Osan Air Base on his first trip to the Pacific since his confirmation last month. Defense Secretary Mattis is expected to meet with Republic of Korea officials to reinforce the United States commitment to maintaining the 60 plus year partnership in the Pacific. During a recent call with the Republic of Korea's Defense Minister, Han min gu Secretary Mattis reaffirmed the U.S. commitment to defend South Korea and to provide extended deterrence using the full range of U.S. capabilities. Secretary of Defense Mattis also said the U.S. will continue to stand side by side with South Korean forces. Senior Airman Emily Koontz, Osan Air Base, Korea. The visit shows the priority the U.S. places on the Asian Pacific region and on the long-term commitment to Japan and the Republic of Korea. From elementary until at least high school, many youths go to school every day to just learn. Technical Sergeant Jacqueline Denny shows us how students at Osan Middle School are receiving more than just an education. The National Geography Bee is they run worldwide. Schools all over the country are doing exactly what we did today. And that is watching with anticipation as students compete against each other, answering questions about Michigan, the world. Part of it is also being able to, to stand up in front of people and have a conversation. Part of it is being able to stand up and, and talk about things that you know. Part of it's about having confidence in who you are as a, as a person. Being really good at geography is not always what makes you a winner. The correct answer is Nepal. Sometimes it's just good old fashioned luck. They asked me one about uh, Anapanura. And the only reason I knew about that was because we we're researching for where we're going to go for spring break which is Nepal, so that's how I knew that. Technical Sergeant Jacqueline Denny, Osan Air Base, Korea. Easton Clark will continue to prepare for the competition in the National Geographic Society's National Geographic B Championship in March in Washington, D.C. Many Katusas get an opportunity to live, work, and bond with U.S. soldiers. Katusa Sergeant Che Hoon Yoon shows us a day in the life of one Katusa. This is corporation. The Korean augmentation to the United States Army, or the Katusa program, is unique for soldiers of both nations. One such Katusa is proud to share his experience working with U.S. soldiers. I work at Area 1 FM Dollar Marketing. My priority work is to promote the on-post events so that soldiers can take their advantage to join many kinds of events in Area 1. At the first time I joined the office team here, I had a problem with speaking English, but working with Corporal Michael I made myself to study English or sir? speak English better and better. Also, we became a good friends each other. It feels great. Corporal Shin's battle buddy and NCIC, Corporal McElroy, also speaks highly of him. He's, he's a trusted person. He's a, ever since I started working with him, he's always had my back. He's always looking for bigger and better ways to improve my experience here in Korea. So. Uh, He's been a great guy, he's trustworthy, he's honorable, definitely a good battle buddy. The bond continues after work hours as Corporal Shin often plays basketball and does PT every day with U.S. soldiers. He even invited Corporal McGalloway to meet his parents in his hometown. I consider being a Katusa as a lifetime experience because there are no other army programs like us worldwide. Mainly, we have a big mission being a Rock Army military ambassador to interact with U.S. Army. Katusa Sergeant Choi Hung Yoon, Camp Casey, Korea. The Katusa program began in 1950 during the Korean War, and its history goes back more than 60 years. For a young child, taking a piece of wood and sharpening it into a speedy race car takes hard work and dedication. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp takes us to the tracks where the fruits of their labor are on display. Putting the unity in community, Cub Scout Pack 203 meet up with the Girl Scouts for their annual Pinewood Derby race on U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys with a few special guests in attendance. The MPs have come out to actually write speeding tickets for the boys. They got reports that there was a lot of speeding going on in this area, so they came out here and they're taking care of business, making sure that they're obeying by the, the laws set forth by the garrison. The speeding tickets signify the winner of each race. I this ticket! 
It's a great event uh, to bring together this community where we bring um, our soldiers, civilians, and our kids together. And so this is exactly what uh, I experienced when I was a kid too, growing up in an Army community. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp, Humphreys, Korea. For more on joining or being a part of the Cub Scouts, visit your installation community service office. Every soldier has their own mission. Katusa Corporal Lee J. Key shows us another meaning of a mission on USAG Humphreys. At the end of the day, most soldiers go back to the barracks to get some rest. But there is a ministry team who works hard and volunteers their time to show support. I love that I'm able to prepare the food for them. It just, it wells up my heart. It makes my heart feel good. At least they know there's a time of fellowship where they can get away, where they don't have to feel like they're in the military 24-7. Because I do know and understand that it is hard and they don't always get a chance to get away or there are so many restrictions for them. At least here they can sit and they have somebody to talk to and I just want that for them. So that would be my hope is for more people to come and just enjoy. After eating the food prepared by Jamie Norman, it is time for the service. It's good seeing you again, man. I tried out. I gave it my best and it was the Father through him. The reason why I believe that this service is so special is because it's great food, great fellowship, great worship, and hopefully great preaching. That is a wonderful combination. We are a community of loving and really want to share the gospel. When I come here, I can lay down all of my burdens. I find comfort when I pray with my fellow Katusas, sing songs with them, and pray to God. I am really thankful for Chaplain Norman and his wife, and also for all the Katusa chaplain assistants here. Katusa Koko Lijegi, Humphreys, Korea. The service is every Wednesday evening from 6 to 8 at Chapel 2. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s selfless service and personal courage are unparalleled. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp takes us to an event that shows us why. Now we're a few days behind where his actual birthday was, but that's okay. The spirit that is imparted to us on the commemoration itself says that any day is a good day to stop and think about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Remember, celebrate, act. A day on, not a day off. This is the theme for the MLK Remembrance Ceremony on USAG Humphreys. In his speech, General Brooks shares his childhood memories of Dr. King. I am one who remembers the day that Dr. King was murdered. I do remember that. I remember the day of his march on Washington. I lived in Arlington, Virginia, right across from where that occurred. I remember seeing it on TV, I remember that, remembering that hot day in August of 1963. Again, remember, this is a day on, not a day off. Again, open the doors for others to follow. Give everyone that opportunity. And again, let's all go forward in this fight tonight. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp, Humphreys, Korea. The observance ceremony was held to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. When service members begin to transition into civilian life and apply for new jobs, a resume will help them stand out from the competition. Applying for federal employment is slightly different than doing so in the private market. That's why Julie Duable, an instructor, takes the time to educate military personnel and their families on how to write a resume for government service positions. I have been teaching this class for about two and a half years now. It means that I have an opportunity to, um, to educate our military uh, service members and family members to be able to help them find employment. Honestly, my proudest moment is just the fact that I can engage with our um, community and assist them in learning about, you know, the, the system of applying for positions and in the end knowing that they get hired for a job. <laughs> to the private first class Cho in ho Humphreys, Korea. For more information on the resume workshop, visit your post MWR. That was your Around the Peninsula for this week. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening.